All right, welcome back to another video on the channel guys we are back with another video today's video is going to be how to make a profile picture and a logo and a png logo for your fortnite clan or for your personal fortnite instagram or social media account i'm dropping back-to-back -back tutorials and i want to drop a few more this week and next week so go ahead and let me know if you guys are enjoying these kind of videos and i don't want to make this introduction too long but i have a few things that i kind of want to go over about the channel and everything like that before we get too far into the video so basically yes i haven't really addressed the coronavirus on my youtube channel because a lot of YouTube channels have already like discussed the matter. And I don't think there's really anything new that I can tell you guys other than watch your hands, stay safe, stay indoors, you know, play video games. But as far as like the coronavirus and how it's affecting me personally, um, starting this week, I am out of a job. Now I'm not unemployed, but my business is shut down right now for work. So unfortunately I can't really make any money for the next like two to three weeks. So I don't really make much money on ad revenue at all on this channel. And I just got monetized like a few months ago. So I, I really don't make anything like from my ads or anything like that. YouTube has just been a fun hobby for me for so long and just kind of sharing my videos with you guys and sharing interesting things and being able to help all of you guys with Fortnite stuff, with graphics, um, and just entertain you guys. But with having work off in the next few weeks, um, unfortunately I can't make any money, but I can upload a ton for you guys, which I'm going to do. So I always ask for likes, subscriptions, comments, everything like that. Um, but today I just really want to ask you guys, um, if you guys get a chance, leave a like on the video, uh, leave a few comments. Um, any of you guys who subscribe, any of you guys who leave a like, any of you guys who just leave a comment, every comment and like helps the algorithm push my videos. So if you guys can leave a few comments on this videos, um, leave a few suggestions of what kind of videos you guys want to see like in the next few weeks. It would literally mean the world to me as of now because this is the only way I'm gonna be able to make money until uh, my work starts back up again. And as you guys know, I'm moving into a new apartment very, very soon, and my rent is gonna be a lot more, and I'm gonna have to have a lot of other bills to pay. So I'm a little bit worried, but I know the Ice Kicks fam is strong, and I know a lot of you guys will support me. I will have a ton of content out. I will have a vlog out tomorrow or the next day on my second channel. Again, link in the description for that. Hope you all are being safe out there. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead and jump right in the video. So the main reason that I haven't really done a ton of tutorials lately is because they made uh, flash unavailable on uh, windows and i believe that is happening sometime soon so pixlr had to do like a whole other thing and now pixlr is a lot different and i know a lot of you guys don't like relearning softwares and i can understand because it's very annoying so i'll be able to show you guys how to make this logo and how to make the png logo all in the new pixlr which is actually pretty nice now that i've gotten used to actually using it so what you guys are going to want to do is go ahead and click advanced e right here and then what's gonna give you here is I already have a bunch of preloaded stuff on here, but um, you're gonna get create new, and then I would name it whatever you guys want, like logo or anything like that. And then for width and height, just put 800 by 800. And then from here, you can choose whether there's a background or not. I'm just gonna choose no background for now, and then I'm gonna hit create. So what I'd suggest for you guys is to choose a color theme for this. Now, obviously, as you guys can see, I went for like a ninja and blue type of theme, just cause I know the ninja skin really soon. And I know that's kind of like a newer um, skin and theme to be using, I guess. So if you guys want to go ahead and recreate the exact one that I've made, um, you guys can go ahead and just Google ninja skin PNG and you're literally gonna find all of the PNGs that I used like right on the main page, like the top results. In the future, I wanna do another um, GFX pack. If you guys wanna see that, then I'll just include all of these ones in that as well. But they're all easily available. Um, you guys can always message me on Instagram if you guys want the specific uh, PNG image or the specific um, image that's on there. So we're gonna start with the profile picture that I made and I will go ahead and show you guys how to make that. So from starting here, you're gonna wanna go to layer and add image as layer. Um, a lot of this is fairly the same as the old Pixlr, which is pretty nice. And then this is the background image that I've actually been using for like a lot of my background logos. Um, it is pink, but I will show you guys how to change it to blue. Um, this image can actually be found fairly easily on Google if you guys Google um, Fortnite background or anything like that. Um, again, just DM me on Instagram. Uh, there'll be a link in the description if you guys want the exact image that I'm using. So again, just like all previous Pixlr versions, you hold shift and then you are going to drag it to fit your image and then let go and then hold shift and then drag to kind of fit the dimensions there and hit enter. So from here, you guys want to make sure you click on the layer on the right side of the actual background 
and then you're going to i believe it is adjustment there we go hue and saturation and then you can just kind of move this along until you get the color that fits the kind of theme that you guys are going for as you guys can see on mine i was going for a blue theme so i'm kind of just going to drag this along until i get like a nice blue that i was looking at before so now you guys are going to want to find the image that you guys want to use in your profile picture as you guys can see on the thumbnail i used a little png of like a ninja face and again if you guys search ninja skin png this exact image will come up if you guys are looking for the exact image now actually i'm gonna go ahead this isn't quite blue this is more like a purple um there we go that's more of a blue okay so so if you guys have the image go ahead and hit layer add image as layer and i'm gonna go ahead and find it i believe it was this one now this actually came with two and i'll show you guys how to like go ahead and get rid of the one um so kind of put it in the middle and then click on that layer and then what you guys want to do is go to the lasso tool and then go to the polygon lasso tool in the top left from here you want to click up here click up here and what i'm trying to do is get rid of the sword because i do not want that in my image and as you guys can see it created that little thing around there make sure you clicked on it and hit the delete button and then it gets rid of that part and then go to select and deselect and now you just have the base that you want to use for the profile picture and then you can click the arrange or i guess that's what it's called i just call it the pointer um, and then you can kind of drag it in the middle and kind of shape it however you want so now I'm going to show you guys what I did for the text and what I did for the font because adding fonts to this is actually a little bit easier than the regular Pixlr. I'm glad that they made the improvement because last Pixlr version, um, getting fonts on Pixlr was actually like an awful process and I got a lot of questions about it. So I'm glad I can go ahead and show you guys how to get them now. It is a lot easier. So if you go to the text button and you click on it and click add, it's going to come up here. Now I'm going to put ice kicks because that's my name. And this is the actual font that I've been using for a little bit now, and I really, really like it. So to actually go ahead and get this exact font that I'm using, um, if you go to the text tool and you double click on it, and then you go up here to the fonts, um, you can actually click add local font. And what I did was if you go to define.com and you go to here and it says techno, um, if you click on the, the techno thing right here, um, the number one um, text that's gonna come up is this first one. And this is actually the one that I used. So from here, it's actually pretty easy. You guys click download. And I'm just gonna go through it again just to show you guys. Um, and I used one of these, but you can go through and choose. They're all very similar. So say if I wanted this one and this one looks good, um, I just click install and then it's going to show up on your desktop as like a little font folder if that makes any sense. And then if you go back to Pixlr and you click add local font and if I go to my desktop and I actually find this is what the font looks like right here and I double click it, it actually automatically adds that font into my font selection which is super super nice. It's a lot easier than waiting and restarting your PC like the old Pixlr to get the font. And then what I can do here is I can double click. And then I can actually adjust the size to like whatever size that I kind of wanted for my text. And then I'm good. And then to actually adjust like the shape of the text, what you guys can do is hit layer, I believe it is, and then rasterize text slash element. And then this kind of just makes the text an image. Um, just know after you do this, you're not going to be able to edit what the text says. So make sure you guys have what like what you want it to say. And then you're able to kind of like move around the text to make it like longer or shorter or thicker or whatever. Um, I'm just going to kind of leave it right here. And you now have your profile picture. Now, the only thing with this Pixlr, and I'm fairly new to this Pixlr still, so I'm not quite sure how to do this, but I could not figure out how to add like a stroke to the outside of your text or like a drop shadow. So if any of you guys know um, or have figured it out, let me know in the comment section down below. I'd be super interested to see. It was super easy on the old Pixlr. You used to be able to just like right click and hit like adjustment, I think it was, on the actual layer. And you could add like a stroke and all different kinds of stuff to the image or whatever. So if you, so like if you wanted to add a black like border around the text, I'm just not sure how to do it yet on Pixlr. But I think this looks clean enough, honestly. And from here, what you guys can do is hit file, save, and then name it wherever and i would save it as a jpeg and i would also drag the quality all the way up to 100 percent just so it's a nice um high quality image and then click download and then what i did from here was exit out of this and i saw it download in the bottom left i usually hit shown folder and then i just drag it to my desktop because that's the easiest way for me to find it later now say you guys wanted your profile logo as a png now all you have to do here is go to the background layer that you have before hit delete and then hit file and save and then it automatically goes to a png which is super nice about this pixel as well and then you're going to hit download and it's going to actually download that as a png so you guys could add that to any background that you have or find in the future so now we're going to go back to the main menu and i'll show you guys how to make the um, logo that you guys see on the thumbnail so again i'm going to go for logo and i'll just put my team here 
as an example and 800 and 800 and i still want it as a transparent background so i'm not going to click that um then we're going to go ahead and click create so what we're going to do is click on the text tool and then we're going to click here and then we're going to click add and then um since my team name is team cloaks i'm just going to put tc um if you guys have seen other videos you know this is just an example for my team um if you guys have a name you can do it however you guys want if you guys want to put like the full team cloaks on there you guys can i'm just going to put the first two letters or the first like initials of team and cloak so tc and again the font should show up that you downloaded earlier but if it didn't just click on this and click add local font again and then go to your desktop and choose that font and it'll show up again now i put tc and then that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go and get it to a size that i kind of like it i usually make it a little bit bigger so it's easier to work with and that should be about good now you guys can click on it and go to layer rasterize text and element and then if you go back to the pointer you guys can move it around just like any other image now and kind of make it wider or longer or however you guys like it all right so this is about good now um if you guys actually go ahead and hit file save it will automatically save as a png and you can save that to your desktop so it's transparent so you guys can put it over any background that you guys find as you guys can see in the thumbnail i just used a plain blue background um you guys can use whatever background you'd like so that is how to make your logo as a png how to make it with the background and also how to make a profile picture that also matches that logo if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to please hit a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys have any questions about this feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below if you guys are really trying to get in contact with me because i get a lot of comments on a lot of videos and it's hard to respond a lot of the times make sure to go ahead and shoot me a dm on instagram i am always active on instagram and if you, any of you guys are trying to get in contact with me dm me on instagram i will gladly help any of you guys out with the new pixar software or anything like that stay tuned for more videos guys i have tons of videos coming out this week and next week i'm super excited to actually have a couple weeks to just put out content for you guys thanks for watching guys i will catch you guys in the next video peace